Lisa. And I am TV, and we are your Meta Data Analysts. So now we are here at Robinson's Magnolia Residences. We are here to interview one database developer and designer which is from Canada. Hi, my name is Leslie Coleman. I'm from Canada. Um, I used to work for a large corporation. Um, metadata was an integral part of pretty much everyday life in my job as a, a database designer, developer. How I used the metadata would be is a lot of a lot of sales data we had. Uh, we had like millions and millions and millions of data points, um, and to identify. Um, the metadata of each of the points so that we could filter and have relevant forecasting planning uh, data and and really you know having all the having all the points like your you know the dates the times the you know the regions um, so uh, was it in Canada Europe US or where were all the sales and breaking down each of the, the metadata points to help filter and help speed up your analysis of the data and, and really that's um, that's uh, that's a big part of, of metadata in, in, in my life and I guess would be in, in everybody else's it would actually help make things more efficient if the metadata was present um, and populated you know on, on, on all the stuff that you do in a Businesses, or you know, even you know, for example, taking taking photographs. Like you got thousands and thousands of pictures, and how many were from, say, this vacation, or from you know, from this family get together? How do you how do you break it up and, and try to identify which photos I can put into a collage a lot easier versus going through thousands and thousands of photos to to kind of pick together? So the metadata would help you. You know, filter down um, and pick out those photos. You know, in an instance, and that's how you know how you could u utilize metadata in in other aspects of your life. From what Sir Alessio said earlier, metadata is a data all about the data. For example, sa isang cabinet, kapag maglalagay ka ng different books without category or walang mga titles, syempre mahihirapan kang makita yung specific book na hinahanap mo. So, with the help of metadata, ito yung uh, finifilter niya o sinusort out niya by category ang isang data. So, uh, hindi sinusort out ang isang book sa isang cabinet or sa isang shelf, hindi useless yung data or useless ang result ng isang forecast. So, helpful siya sa, sa isang company, sa businessman or anything na related sa pagpo-forecast dahil uh, number one, uh, magkakaroon ng more profit or more accurate na forecast. There are two types of metadata. Number one is descriptive metadata and the second one is the structural metadata. So there are two types of metadata. One of it is descriptive metadata. Ano nga ba yung descriptive metadata? So yung descriptive metadata, yun yung mga metadata na ginagamit to describe or identify information or resources collected information. So, one of the example is this. So, paano naman natin magagamit yung descriptive metadata to, de to describe it? First of all is the subject. Next is, it can be also um, the date information or the location and also the story. So, the second type of the metadata is the structural metadata, which enables us to navigate and have an easy access of the information data. So, sa makita example dito, kung kanina sa descriptive metadata, uh, i-describe lang siya per photo. So, pagdating naman dito sa structural metadata, nakasort na siya dito na by category na meron na tayong storage, location, date, and the uh, subject. So, para mahanap mo nang mas madali yung isang data, uh, pwede mo siyang hanapin lang. Kunyan, ang hinahanap mo lang ay yung storage na less than 25 MB. 
Pwede mo na lang siya piliin dun sa storage mo. Mo hindi mo na kailangang pansinin pa kung yung date, yung subject, and yung location. Kung yung ang focus mo lang naman talaga ay yung sa storage. So, gaya na lang din na kung may hinahanap mo lang na specific na location, specific na subject, at specific na date. So, now that we understand the two types of metadata, let us now proceed to the five significant roles of metadata. There are five significant roles of metadata. So, number one is for using data warehouse. So, kasi sa isang data warehouse, marami siyang data. And itong mga daily reports or daily daily data na nilalagay sa data warehouse ay kailangan ma-sort out into categories para malaman nila kung ano talaga yung, uh, kung ano talaga yung specific na problem na kailangan ma-solve. The second one is for building data warehouses. Sa, for building data, war, data warehouses because kapag before ka magtayo ng data warehouse, nilalagay mo muna kung ano yung different categories or different na file na magbebelong sa data na i-input mo. So, itong mga binilt mo na, na categories, kapag nalagay mo na yung mga data, mabilis na lang siyang makita. Next one is for administering the data warehouses. Since ang different, uh, uh, since ang data warehouses ay sobrang laki, madaming data na ang nilalagay mo sa data warehouse, it is difficult to manage yung mga data na nakalagay doon. So, by administering that, kailangan mo ng metadata dahil pinifilter out mo, sinosort out mo yung, yung different data by categories. So, it helps kasi pa ito yung magiging roadmap o yung magiging table of contents mo sa buong data ng isang company. For the fourth one, who needs the metadata? Important siya, especially sa mga higher na officials or higher na position sa isang kumpanya. For example, sa VP4 marketing, mahanap nila kung ano yung specific problem by searching kung ano yung uh, kung ano yung reasons kung bakit naging flat or naging nagdecline yung profit nila. So titignan nila yung data sa specific na day na yun or sp as a specific na month kung bakit nagdecline. So through the use of metadata, hahanapin lang nila kung ilang sales ang nakita nila sa isang araw kung bakit kung ano yung mga reasons kung, kung bakit nagdecline. Fifth one is metadata is the nerve center. Uh, in comparison, ito yung pinaka utak ng isang data warehouse. Lawa ang nagbe-benefit dito for the business related or the end users and pangalawa naman ay for IT professionals or yung technical. So, business metadata is like the metadata used by the business users to connect to the data warehouse. So, to simply say, yung business metadata para siyang roadmap or an easy to use directory na makakapagbigay ng information on how to get there. So, one of the examples of business metadata is the um, data ownership, predefined queries, or predefined reports. So, yung business metadata, kailangan nasa plain language lang siya na nakapagbigay ng information for different business terms. Yung business metadata din, Sino nga ba yung benefit nito? So, ang nakapag-benefit ng business metadata is the managers, business analysts, or casual users, or regular users. So, overall, yung business metadata, para siyang external view ng data warehouse. And, ang content nito is just simple and madaling maintindihan ng mga gumagamit nito. Technical metadata is meant for IT staff responsible for the development and administration of the data warehouse. Technical metadata also serves as the support guide for them to build, maintain, and administer it. So, there are three purposes. First one is the initial de development of the data warehouse. So, it basically means that, I'll give you an example, there are the three purposes, the data extraction, data transformation and the data cleansing. So, if you want to improve something from your data transformation, maybe you should look first into your data 
extraction. The second purpose of technical metadata is for the ongoing ongoing growth and maintenance of the data warehouse. The warehouse is programmed by the IT professional. So uh, with that, uh, you can look up everything that you need in order to to improve it on the technical metadata. The third and last purpose of the technical metadata is that it is critical for continuous administration the production of data warehouse. So, uh, since IT professionals are the ones who created the program, it will be impossible for them to operate without uh, technical metadata because all the processes, all the procedures, are all programmed in the technical metadata. For better understanding, here is an example of metadata in our life. So, meron tayong challenge for today. Paunahan, makapunta sa Shakey Store. So, are you ready? <laughs> ready, set, go! So, kailangan ko maunahan si Baby Mo. So, magsisearch tayo. Okay. Kung naka-alphabet siya, Galing di mo? Meanwhile, so ang result ng game ay mas nauna si Regine kasi gumamit siya ng kiosk. While si Phoebe, 
mas matagal siyang nahanap yung store kasi mano-mano niyang kinanap by level, by store, so kaya by wings ng isang mall. In connection sa metadata, kapag ang data warehouse, sobrang dami ng data ang naka-input sa kanya and without categorizing or kung alang general na topic ng isang data, syempre, mahirap mong mahanap yung data. Pero kapag nakakategorize siya by day, by storage, or by location, Mahana, madali mo nang mahanap yung data na gusto mong mahanap. So overall, needed talaga ang metadata sa isang data warehouse kasi mas mapapadali yung in an instant kap, kapag in, sinesearch mo yung specific na data, mabilis mo na siyang mahanap kesa sa mano-mano na pagkahanap. So kapag mabilis ang mabilis ang pagkakahanap mo ng data, syempre mas accurate yung pagpo-forecast mo.